Welcome back. Harmony Hill and Cohoes is celebrating a very special anniversary. 2024 marks the 10th year that the school has been with their beloved therapy dog, Rosie. Some might call it a job, but for Rosie, it's her purpose. Here's my girl. Hi. Oh, there's my smile. Here's my smile. Hi, princess. When the bandana comes on, it's work time for Rosie. The golden retriever has grown up in the hallways of Harmony Hill. She looks for them. She looks forward to it. You know, it's her little life. Principal Mark Perry got Rosie when she was only eight weeks old, a gift on Christmas Eve. By one, Rosie was enrolled to get her certification as a therapy dog. My social worker at the time, Mrs. Marshall, and I contacted Gilderland Central School District. So um, we went over to see their program. Shortly after that, they invited Rosie and I to participate in their training. Ten years later, Rosie is a permanent staple in the school. My favorite thing about Rosie is how, how, how she's so soft and kind. She loves getting itched in the belly. Oh, she also puts her arms up like just laying down and then you just itch her belly and she's like, mm. go. Yeah, she got it. In Mrs. Laughlin's classroom, she gets right to work, seeking out the students she knows need a little extra support. Fifth grade is challenging for some of our kids, so Rosie's a big part of just de-stressing all of us, even adults. Ten-year-old Sophie says Rosie was actually her first friend on the first day of school. So I sat with her here in the lounge area and I, I was really comfort because I was also kind of nervous. I didn't know anybody here. It really helps me like calm down from having a bad day and really helps me do my work. It's, it just helps me focus. Rosie is quite the career gal. She has her own Outlook calendar with appointments, her own Instagram, and even her own mailbox. When the kids write to her, Rosie writes back to them. <laughs> I've got files full of Rosie letters that she's written back. Rosie may have started as a gift for Mr. Perry, but all along she was really a gift for the Harmony Hill community. We love you, Rosie. She's a little bit protective because these are her kids. You know, this is this is her school and, and, and her kids. So she just wants to make sure that everybody's okay. That's I think that's her main goal is to make sure everybody's okay.